Good day everyone, uh, hello, I'm Maharani Sekarwangi and I'm here today for my final exams for basic visual principle which is taught by Ms. Lin Tang. We are supposed to make a video about our batik and this is what it is. So, thank you for giving your time for me for watching this video and I will present to you about my batik composition and the stories behind it. Without further ado, let's start the video and I just realized this is wonderful. Uh, before I show you the final artwork, let me show you the sketch. So, sadly, I don't have my tiny mechanical pen, so the sketch is very rough and the picture is a shaky mess. Then finally, you can see the final composition. Uh, ada. Bad quality too. It's well known for a fact that I can't take pictures. I'll give the blame to my camera too. So. Here is the final artwork. I'm very negative and you know artists are their very own worst critic so I'm trying to find words that aren't that negative. Uh, the first thing you could notice was that I rushed it, um, especially the column pattern. I just went full speed therefore the result aren't the maximum best, which is a shame. There was so much drama besides the column, like accidentally using a black color for the background, spilled paint on the paper, and ran out of white color. So many dilemmas, and this is what it came to be. I like how the Mega Mendong and Koi fishes turn out the most, because that's what took the time the most. I know I say this quite often, but I'm inspired with the trend of Koi fishes on clouds. As I've mentioned before, I regret cowling the most. I rushed it last night and I could have done better, but I've mistaken the deadline once again. It's a little bit embarrassing at this point. I kind of don't want to talk about it. Um, I'm pretty dumb when it comes to AM and PM. The background color, I wish I did it differently for the cowling. So, uh, cow pattern just to divide the patterns, but I've mentioned before. I accidentally used black and it was just so ugly and it was so traumatizing that I was scared of using any other background color than that. So yes, I decided to stick with that, uh, stick with the creme pastel yellow color and that's how this came to be as well. I was also afraid of that it would clump the whole artwork because I did use black and then I used pastel yellow to cover it up. I used a lot and I was scared of changing the background color again, which meant it would clump. Okay, that's pretty much the story behind the final artwork. I just realized I said negative things. And I did say something positive. The positive thing is the koi fishes. That's it. Firstly, it doesn't look like it, but this is actually cone better. Uh, then this is Mega Menu, and it look, that looks like clouds, and this is uh, Batik Lassam Wannabe. Cone pattern comes from Solo, it symbolizes justice in a circle shape, which mimics the cone fruit, it's a type of coconut, arranged neatly geometrically. Was my interpretation either? You be the judge, but this cowling pattern has a meaning symbolizing the hope for human beings will always remember their origins. Next, that is Mega Mundu. It comes from Chirubon. It also has meaning philosophy that a person heart should remain calm and cool in any situation, like a cloud. Which you can see that it is symbolizing clouds. The philosophy could be applied to a leader must be able to stay cool and did their work properly. Next is Batik Lassam. It is from Lassam Rembang, of course. It is well known for its uniqueness as a close batik. 
Barbara Sister, I don't know how to translate it. That's very beautiful with strong colors. It also has a statement about it for those who wear this batik, they will achieve good fortune in their lives. Besides that, there is koi fishes. I guess I can use my original batik brand. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I invent koi fishes, but yeah, you read the chat as well. I want to say it's an original pattern, but I guess this is not really a traditional batik. Either way. Either way, I want to draw out fishes because it's very interesting to be put in a mega mendong as a transition between two batik patterns in the background. I guess you can tell two separate patterns because of the background color, which I've regret to this day. And because I've mentioned before, I quite like the style of fishes in the clouds, so I stick with that theme and that pattern, I actually really like it. I actually have like plan to make it a gradient and I kept thinking to batik even have gradients so I didn't do gradients so that's why it's pretty much boring but I did work on the scales a little bit more I actually struggle a lot with the scales I don't know scales you just do blah 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 but I just thought like it should be in a certain way my OCD is crippling. <laughs> pastel and also gold and white, I guess. You can even see my batik. It's, it's very, very bright and pastel. I'm not sure if you guys can distinct the white color and the pastel from one another. And the gold is not shiny, shimmering gold. It is supposed to be gold color, but I guess it's not gold. I'm just saying it's the gold color. So anyways, pastel colors are pastel yellow, pastel green and its variations, pastel purpura, pastel pink, and pastel blue. So I kept wondering what to say about the colors that I used there because there's not much meaning to it or any philosophy thing. Originally this was a my color sheen skin palette as you could tell from like last week because I showed you pretty different colors, not really, just much more pastel. Um, the reason why I choose pastel in the end is because as I was color testing it, I just did what I selfishly desire, which is pastel colors, and that's what it came to be. That's why I decided to use pastel. I just really like the colors, and I wouldn't lie that there is a meaning. But yeah, that's it. The reason why I use pastel and gold is because I thought it was cute. And that's it. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you Miss Lantang for the guidance so far uh, on this semester. It's very sad that we won't be seeing each other this semester, eh, next semester um, because I'm online so I will never get the chance to see you which is a little bit sad but I'm thankful for your patience and support and assistance so far. and. Have the rest of the day a good one. Thank you.